Before we start this video, thank you everyone for supporting me. Uh, it means a lot. Um, I'm trying to hold my head up, uh, be strong, and um, yeah. Uh, guys, you can still help out. Um, link is still in the description below. I'm still gonna try to entertain you guys um, and try to smile. Um, yeah, that's what I can say. Um, you can still help out. You can see every link to PayPal, bank, whatever. It's in the description below, so you can still support and help us out. Um, for everyone who's gonna help, thank you so much. For everyone who have helped and supported, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. Hello guys, welcome to Fan and Reaction. My name is Chris. My name is Lucy. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Welcome. Today we'll take a look at a, like a documentary, uh, which is... Vanar Senna in Romain was in fact an army of Neanderthal men. Yeah, oh. that's exactly what we're going to take a look at. And uh, let's jump right into it. Let's do it. Vanaras are one of the significant characters in Ramayana. As per described in Ramayana, Vanaras are special species of humans that looked like monkeys. Ramayana never mentioned Vanaras as monkeys. These species were dominant in southern part of India and ruled South India including Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, etc. What does Vanaras mean? Vanaras is a Sanskrit word having two parts. One means forest and Nara means human. So the literal meaning humans who lived in forests. Vanaras were definitely not monkeys since monkey is called as Vanakapi or Kapi or Markata in Sanskrit. Why finding evidences of Neanderthal man is difficult in India? Archaeological and scientific evolutionary studies says Neanderthal was a species that inhabited Europe, Africa and Western Asia starting some 2,30,000 years ago. Neanderthal man had a hyoid bone which enabled them to speak and look like humans very closely. So some evidences of Neanderthal man was found in Indus Valley civilizations. As Indians follow a very long cultural tradition of burning bodies after death no matter if they were animals, finding any solid evidences of ancient times is not so easy. Besides, bones in Indian peninsula decay in few thousands of years. This makes it even more difficult to find traces of Neanderthal's man in India. Description mentioned in Ramayana matches with the anthropological modern day descriptions of Neanderthals except the features of tail. Both Vanras and Neanderthal had sloping foreheads, hairy bodies, protruding jaw bones, etc. The reason yeah. why modern day anthropologists like didn't find a tail was because the tail of Vanras was boneless and hence decomposed within few years. If you read the description of Vanra Kingdom, Kishikinda, then you will find that it clearly resembles a network of connected underground mountain caves. This is what the modern day anthropologists oh, yeah. say about Neanderthal's men who lived in caves. Obviously, Vanras were physically different than Manvas, that is humans, but definitely they were not monkeys. Not monkeys yeah. Actually, oh. the problem with most anthropologists and okay, historians is that yeah, since so Vanras like don't exist today, they are trying to imagine Vanras in terms of something or somebody That's they know or have seen and hence compare them with Homo erectus and Neanderthal's men. Maybe they were a different species altogether. Yeah. Evidences like from Ramayana yeah. that Vanras were Neanderthal's men. According to Ramayana, Vanras existed all around in the world, but were dominant in Kishikinda Kingdom, near Hampi in Karnataka. The head of Vanras king, Sugriva, summoned Vanras from all over the world to join the Lord Rama army in South India. When Rama decided to attack Lanka, Vanaras came from regions like Himalayas, Vindhyas, Madhya Pradesh, Meru in Tibet, etc. Valmiki also explicitly stated that Vanaras came from far off places where the sun always shines or is always set, that is polar regions. Since no evidence of Vanaras are found anywhere in the world, Valmiki clearly stated that Vanaras had traits of monkeys. He referred to members of Vanra's army as Kapi Kunjara, which in Sanskrit means elephant-sized monkeys. 
He also said that Vanaras were not like normal small monkeys, but a different species of monkey, having a strong physique and traits of monkeys like Neanderthal man. He also mm -hmm. used terms like Nityam, Astira, Chitta, means one whose mind changes frequently, Trace, and Kapitam, <laughs> Anavastitam, yeah, which means exactly. one who cannot yeah. stay in one place for a moment. But that Both these qualities a show yeah. traits of a monkey. <laughs> exactly. Ramayana uh, also says about bear like man, Yetis. Yeah. In Ramayana, yes, there is yeah. a mention of a bear like man named Jamwan, yeah. which is similar to Yetis in other parts of the world. Yetis are also known as snowmen said to be found yeah, in icy yes, regions yeah, of, of the world. There are many stories based on such characters, though no fossils have been found to prove their presence. No. In Sanskrit, bear is called as Bhaluka, and hence, Jamuvant was definitely not bear, but resembled very closely to bears, just like Vanras resemble monkeys. Evidences from Mahabharat that Vanras were Neanderthal's men. In Mahabharat also, when Lord Krishna met Jamwant from Ramayan, <laughs> Lord Krishna says that Jamwant is one of the last surviving creatures of its kind. Lord Krishna also says that since his species have vanished, he is not welcomed in society anymore. Jamwant was blessed with long life by Lord Rama. Lord Hanuman was also blessed with immortality by Lord Krishna. Thus, he was also the last among the Vanaras. Mahabharata, history of third millennium. 3076 BC validates the fact that Vanaras and Yetis, like species, have become extinct. Also, it confirms the existence of Lord Rama and all species mentioned in Ramayana. If sage Vyasa intended to write a fictional story of war between Pandavas and Kauravas, why would he mention about Jambavan? This shows that Ramayana is a very ancient history of India, which made its ways to other civilization in America, Asia, and Europe, etc. Ramayana and Mahabharata <laughs> are Indian history, not mythology. Ramayana and Mahabharata are referred to as Itihases, mm -hmm. history in ancient oh, historical wait. records, yeah. not stories. Even 18 Puranas, which means story of ancient times, confirms the details mentioned in Mahabharata and Ramayana. Valmiki or Sage Vyasa never said they were writing stories. There is no need to detail our geographical locations, astronomical data, and chronological orders, etc., in fictional stories. Ancient Indians never had the tradition of writing stories since they were never short of real life heroes. There is no contradiction in Ramayana and Mahabharata. Some of the Western mm -hmm. authors declared Ramayana as having contradiction. Just because Valmiki in one place referred Vanaras as monkeys and other place as human like monkeys, it doesn't contradict anything. Mercury is both an element as well as planet. It, does, it has dual meaning tribes. and hence its symbolism depends upon the and situation. Said, yeah. <laughs> Why modern science doesn't believe in Ramayana and Mahabharata? Sure science cannot approve the historicity of Ramayana since it says about talking conscious vultures, monkeys, etc. All of which shows a reverse evolution. That is, ancient humans were more advanced and conscious than present humans. Also, Indian scriptures state the degrading I level of yugas, and hence that. humans in Kaliuga, present age, are spiritually and consciously yeah. less advanced. This is the fact scientists are finding yeah. hard to digest, yeah. as yeah. they yeah. believe they are yeah. superior and more advanced than all preceding humans. Problem with most scientists is that they try to fit everything into the current set of theories, and if they find anything which doesn't fit in current scenario, they discard it. In 1st century AD, Earth was regarded as the center of the static universe, but today, universe having no center is said to be over-expanding. People usually say, we follow a blind faith or religion, but there are many scientific theories that are totally crap and were believed as true few centuries ago. Believe in science, but comprehend the fact that everything written in scientific books are not proven science. Vedic culture existed everywhere in the world. Evidences of Vedic culture are found in places as far as Russia, Europe and America. Recently, 1500-year-old Vishnu idol was excavated in Russia. Historian wrongly claims that Vedic culture existed only in India. Geography in Vedic texts covered entire earth and not just India. In a Vedic text, Arctic region is called as Elavrata Varsha. But today, Love nobody it. knows Arctic region by that name. All the European languages have linguistic roots in Sanskrit. Other Western authors tried their best to show misrepresenting facts 
and false theories like Aryan invasion theory. But ultimately, the truth came out and Vedic civilization has been proved native to India. No other texts except Indian ancient texts talks about history beyond 10,000 BC. Here we go. Oh, very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the way that she said. Um, they have traits of monkeys, but traits, yeah. Yeah, traits of monkeys, but they are not monkeys. Yeah. yeah. So, at uh, what point does does it not become a monkey if it looks like one? Yeah, like, and if it has traits. I know traits. what she means, though. But also, um, the thing that she was talking about with contradiction as well. She was saying that um, it's not a contradiction that some say it's a monkey, some say it's a human. But then she's saying that it certainly isn't a monkey. So. Yeah, yeah that's. Do you see yeah. what I mean? I know what she means. That it could be like monkey and human at the same time. She's saying just because some say it's monkey, some say it's human, doesn't mean it's contradiction because you can be both. I understand that. But she said that it definitely is not a monkey. And so, you have tails. Exactly. So that is the contradiction. Do you see what I mean? Um, I, know. I know what she means by that <laughs> sense. That makes sense. But she said right from the beginning that it has traits of a monkey, but it's certainly not a monkey. Anyway. But that means it's a monkey. <laughs> uh, blah. But I know what she means. Can't, it can't could be, be like, <laughs> it, yeah, but what I guess really what she's trying to say, it's not full monkey. It's a kind of, it has traits of human and traits no, of but, monkey. No, but why should really? still, still make your monkey look at it? Mm -hmm. Look at look at the drawing, the first drawing of the video. Mm -hmm. Look at that. What do you see? I see a monkey. Well, maybe what I see we a need to say with, it's. With a, with a uh, it's kind of human body. Well, maybe it's right? part monkey, part human, which yeah. is probably what she means. Or yes, what... but that's I would still say that as monkey, it's yeah. not human. Well, and like what she said, the fact that some texts say it's a monkey, some say it's human. Okay, well, it's monkey and human then. So you can't say it's not a monkey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now she we're cannot, like... She, no, no, but that's true. She yeah, cannot that say, makes sense, She cannot right? say, it's certainly not the monkey. Uh, it is monkey. If it's part monkey, part human, then the, you can't really say it's not a monkey. Yeah, well, it's not It's not a full monkey. Okay, fair enough. You can say it's not a monkey, but if it's part monkey, then you can't really... Say it's certainly not a monkey. You cannot say that. Because it's kind of, it's half a monkey. Okay. Especially well, anyway. if it has triads from... Uh, yeah, from monkey. Traits from right? monkey. Well, what was going to mean? You say traits, traits. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. We know yeah, what but, you mean. Um, um, so, so th she can't really say that. She don't really have rights to say that, uh, especially if it have a monkey face. Yeah, I wouldn't right? really say like it certainly isn't a monkey. I mean, maybe you can't say it's a monkey because it's not a full monkey, but I wouldn't be. But still close enough. But it's close enough. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, going around the circle. You have to face. But it's very so. interesting anyway, um, because I didn't know about this. And I like the fact that she said they're certainly not stories. This is not like a myth, you know? Yeah. This is their ancient history. Um, and, and I guess the reason why there aren't, do you remember they said, she said in the video, <coughs> that the reason why there's not much evidence to prove it because mm. they the bodies were cremated, weren't they? Yeah. So there wasn't really any kind of, you know, there's not any proof because um, bodies tend to be cremated, um, oh. not buried all, we all the so. proof we have is written in stone basically mm -hmm. it is sculpture in stone mm -hmm. uh, which was Pictures. made millions yeah. of years ago right mm -hmm. um, one other fun fact right all humans came from Africa in case you didn't know mm -hmm. Africa everybody came from mm -hmm. and then we expanded over the whole wide world and then mm -hmm. we became like our own mm -hmm. thing you know but isn't it interesting that we can learn a lot about um, definitely our ancient history and things like that from pictures and all that kind of stuff and how a lot of them that's the way they sort of um, documented things yeah. I mean actually what's really interesting is uh, like cavemen have you seen some of their amazing yeah. pictures oh my gosh it's incredible and then from a lot of their um, drawings and things it kind of proves that um, oh my gosh that they knew so much more in some ways they knew they probably knew more than we actually know now how weird is that i've watched some documentaries all about like um caveman pictures and things like that and how um you know there was like well there was um pictures of aliens and things like that have you seen that yeah. sort of extraterrestrial oh things. that was more like indians yeah that was indians, Indian, indians. Uh, native americans what they call yeah yeah them. but all different that's the thing all around the world um <clears throat> uh, there was just some incredible in the caves there yeah, was always pictures. Uh, and, and um, in the pyramids. Yeah, and how they learned about the stars and how they could tell the time from all this kind of stuff and, you know, just by looking at the stars. In some ways, they use their brain so much more than we did, so they're kind of more intelligent yeah. then. 
in ancient times, you know, because they ha didn't really have all this stuff to rely on technology. So they didn't have minds thinking for them. They had to like work things out themselves. And um, they documented many things through drawings and whatever. Also, if you look at the, uh, the uh, pyramids, right? The, the drawings, like mm. a UFO in the drawings, mm -hmm. and, and, like in the, what they called it, in sculpted into the yeah. stone, right? When I say drawing, I mean the stone right now. Okay? Nah, that's what listen, I mean listen, too, listen, but it's the stone, In the stone, yeah. there was um, uh, UFOs and uh, with, with the big hands like this as well, you know? Yeah. yeah. And um, there was flying cars mm -hmm. and all that. How the hell would they know all these kind of things? Well, we don't have flying in, cars yet. Well, we will have. They're working <laughs> on it. They said maybe 100 years we will have it. Mm -hmm. But how would they know all this, all this stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, Predictions, you yeah. Know, millions of years ago. and. They, and UFOs, maybe they're like, mm -hmm. well, people are finally gonna work with UFOs. Mm -hmm. That's probably what they're thinking. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise. It wouldn't be a surprise if there come life from some other planet down here mm -hmm. and they just wouldn't dare to come down here because of this government would shoot them. Well, maybe that's how yeah. the pyramid, pyramids sorry, were built, was maybe with alien technology or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. you know, in, in that time, there were many sort of um, carvings or whatever, you know, drawings. Um, that sort of proved that they were interacting in things with extraterrestrials or other lives or whatever, um, other beings. But well, there could be many theories. Oh many yeah, theories, I mean, look, uh, we're all kind of surmising, aren't we? But um, it's just very interesting, you know. Yeah. I love this kind of stuff because but, it's, uh, you know, it's no. like to me, it's it's like mysteries that are kind of uncovered. <laughs> think think of it like this. Do you think you are the only species in this whole universe? If you think so, there's that something wrong with you. That seems illogical, yeah. There's something For wrong with you. For a never-ending um, universe, universe um, how on earth could we be that special yeah. that we are literally the only living beings? Species. Yeah. yeah. That makes no and sense. And all think these of, other solar systems, all these, I mean, obviously you have to have the perfect conditions. You know, Earth has got the perfect mm -hmm. kind of conditions because we've got, you know, water, <clears throat> we've got the right climate, we've got air, we've got an atmosphere, you know, we've got all that kind of stuff. So it's perfect well, think of it conditions. Like this. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be another Earth-like planet. Yes, there is. There, they already found one. Yeah. Behind the sun, there, there is an exact Earth look-alike, but they cannot reach it. It mm -hmm. would take too many years unless they can get there with speed of light. Mm -hmm. It's actually true. Um, but they said they would have to go, the sun is here and they would have to go like all the way around mm -hmm. because otherwise they get burned up. Mm -hmm. So if they could go right through, they would be there like fast. But because mm -hmm. of the sun, they have to go all around the circle, right? Which will take, I think they said it would take like 50 years to 100 years. It would be very expensive so, as well to build that kind of, you know. No, they, that's why they just got them getting smarter. They have, mm -hmm. to, they have to really work together. All countries, if all countries work together, mm -hmm. we would have speed of lightning in a year mm. because think of all the smart people around the world if they all work together it's one big brain but no no everybody wants to be the first one so they're gonna say fuck you i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it no no i don't need your help that's that's business it's business and i don't blame them mm. who, who don't want the, uh, to be the richest person in the world for mm. creating something that's impossible but yeah if you think about it like this in our solar system that's just one let's call it one little universe mm -hmm. Maybe if you go farther up with the speed of lighting, you can only get there with the speed of lighting, otherwise you're dead. Mm -hmm. 100%. It will take years, maybe a million years, to say it like that, right? Um, that could be these people, what we just saw here, these um, uh, Nandadal <laughs> men. The Andadal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They could be on a planet that look exactly like Earth, but far away, right? Out of our solar system, mm -hmm. behind a new, new universe. Because mm -hmm. that there are many universes within one universe. And we're probably in all different times as well, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, you've probably got the future Earth, you know, that's much more far ahead than us, and then you've probably got, you know, other okay. Earths that are basically in the past, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and maybe there's another Chris out there, there's another Lucy out there, there's another, all of you out there. I, 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 don't, I don't believe um, there's some, yes, I believe time and space, but that's, um, that would be wormhole. Yeah, that's, that's a, like that's parallel normal. universes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah. a that's, whole that's, that's thing. That's a whole nother level. That's another level. But I'm theory. talking about a new universe is where there would be aliens, like maybe something that looks like us, but it's not mm -hmm. us humans. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe like this, basically, right? Mm -hmm. I know, but they can't understand all language somehow. But yeah, but of I mean, course, I, know. And I, I believe they will come here at some point in the future. Um, when we don't know maybe 100 years 200 years 500 years i don't care but someday when when people are smarter stop fighting stop doing war becoming actual humans mm -hmm. good people yeah 
Yeah, it's funny because I still feel like we're quite back with the fact that we eat animals and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't really make sense, does it? I mean, I know animals kind of kill each other, but they don't do it in a cruel way. No. You know, they do it for like survival. Whereas us humans, we have other alternatives as well. We don't have to eat meat. So personally, I feel like one day we're gonna look back and go, oh my gosh, do you remember, you know, when we used to eat animals and we were barbaric and whatever. So I do think, um, I think we've got a long way to go yeah. anyway. <laughs> I mean, hu humans haven't evolved that much over, over the millions of years, mm. over all this time. They we make many mistakes, but that's what makes us human. We have evolved a lot, to be honest. Um, of course, we, we don't look like monkeys anymore. Okay, wow, okay. But what about our brain? Mm. Did that kind of get out of the system? Not really. Sure, we created technology. I mean, we're always going to make mistakes. That's what makes us human. But I do think we've got quite a long way to go. I think we still uh, do some dreadful things and do some very stupid things, personally. Um, I mean, in, in this, uh, we live in 2020, right? We should already have flying cars and be able to have contact to different universes. Yeah, but think about Honestly, the no, 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 but, but look here, look here, yeah, but, but mm. in terms of what, what's already should have been and all that, right? Mm. Uh, our 2000 years, we haven't got that far at all. Technology should have been there at least 1000 years ago, like, mm. like as good as it is but now. But we might have it, that's the thing, but we just don't know. Like the <laughs> government, you know, that's a whole other yeah. thing as well. Yeah. But oh I do God. believe... We, we are so off topic. Yeah, but I do believe we're a lot, we're far more advanced than what the media lets you know, personally. This is what I think, because I think that we wouldn't be trusted as well. I think if we, if certain things got in our hands, then I think it would be the end of the human race anyway. We've gone, well, we haven't gone completely off topic, because, you know, this is, you know, discussing the world and ancient history and you know how far we've come and evolved and anyway well, but um you know, this was very you know, very interesting she said one of these uh net the uh were immortal ah uh, yes remember mm -hmm. have anybody seen it <laughs> come on now it's your time to speak up right now speak up have you seen one she said what is immortal <laughs> but where is so it where is it hiding if it's really immortal then prove it, <laughs> prove it. I mean, just because one person says, oh, it's really immortal, it exists. Well, then you better damn prove it because I don't see any proof. But, but other than a video, that's it. Um, so if, 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 you, if you say things really exist, there gotta be some kind of proof. Like when you say Jesus exists, come on, what's the proof? Ah, uh, but we say that to you, don't we? That's a whole yes, other thing as well. Yes, but that's a belief. Mm -hmm. That's a belief. This. I don't believe before I see the proof. Mm -hmm. But yeah, enough about this. Mm -hmm. Any last words? No, no, very interesting. Let me hear what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Ping. So you can always stay tuned when a new video drops. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.